welcome back to another annotating vlog where I take you step by step through the process of learning how to annotate a book. This is the second book that I have ever annotated in my life. If you watched the last video, we annotated All Roads Lead Here, which was the first book I have ever truly annotated and I absolutely loved the book, adored the process, and was so excited to do it again. I learned so many things while going through this process. If you are interested in seeing the first video and the first book and all of the things that I learned, I will link that down below. Absolutely do not have to watch that video in order to watch this one. I said in my last video that I thought it might be a little bit easier to try annotating a book that I have already read before to see if kind of already knowing some of the things that are going on might make it a little bit easier easier to practice annotating. So this week's vlog, we are doing Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. This is a book that I really want to reread because I really want to read the second book that just came out. This is an adult fantasy. It is set at Yale. We are following Alex Stern as she becomes a student at Yale in order to spy on the college's secret societies for this mysterious benefactor. We've got demons and magic and very dark things happening and it is such a wild ride and so much fun and I have been waiting for the second book forever. I thought this book would be really really great to annotate because it's such an academic setting and it has so many outside references and so much lore and just so many things that I feel like you could write a lot about that I feel like we might get some more practice in like actually writing annotations instead of just like highlighting and things which is what I'm hoping for. So to start out step one we're gonna prep the book. This is a hardback so I don't have to do my normal paperback prepping. If you are curious about what that means you can watch my first annotation video where I prepped this book for annotating. Um, it's also completely black and white so when it came to choosing tabs I couldn't really match the cover. So I just ended up going with a color palette that I felt like kind of fit the vibe. So these are the colors that I have chosen. I felt like they went pretty well with kind of just the general vibe of the book. I did choose more colors than I have categories for. In my first annotation video I learned that there were a lot of categories that I didn't realize I was going to want until I had started reading. So I'm going to start with a few categories I know I want and then add more as I go. I'm also planning on doing a little bit less color in this book. I didn't choose as many highlighters and as many colored pens. I'm mostly intending to write in black ink and then maybe like one neutral colored highlighter is kind of what I'm thinking but I did go ahead and choose highlighters or pens for each colored tab just in case I change my mind or want to add some color in there at some point. So let's go ahead and set up our categories and add the tabs to our key at the front of the book and we'll get started. <laughs> I still have two categories left if I want to add something later. If I don't, no big deal. I kind of have one in mind that I might want to add but I'm really not sure yet. We'll see. I have very different categories this time than the last book mostly because it is a very different genre. So we're gonna see how this goes, we're gonna see how I like it, and I will let y'all know but let's get reading.
me again. So I was editing this video and realized that I never gave a midpoint update like I intended to. Um, so this video was going to be like 10 minutes straight of me just like annotating and you watching and nobody wants to see that. So I thought I would give you a little announcement midway through this video to spice things up and then we will get right back into the annotating content. I have had multiple people ask me to restart my buddy reads that I started doing last year. Um, I had a discord, we did like one book and then I started moving and life got in the way and we kind of dropped them. So we're gonna restart it and we're gonna start in April, April 1st to be exact, and I have already chosen the book because so many people have requested that they wanna read this book with me. And I am so ready for a reread of this, honestly. For April, we will be reading Outlander. I'm so excited, I've wanted to reread this pretty much since the first time I read it, so I can't wait. Um, I will post information on the Discord down below and I will have information in the Discord coming very soon for how that is going to work. I will also be annotating Outlander in April and I am so excited. I've wanted to do this for a very long time and I will be posting my annotations in the Discord so if you want to see that, that will be exclusive to the Discord. I'm not going to make a video about that, I am just going to post it in the Discord so if you want to see my Outlander annotations or if you want to read Outlander with us, check out the link down below. I'm so excited. This is my favorite book of all time. If you want to know anything about me as a reader, read this book with us. Let's get back to annotating Ninth House. finished Ninth House. It took me a lot longer than it should have considering I loved every second of it but here we are a month and a half later and I'm finally done. So let's talk annotations because that is what we're here for. I did things differently with this annotation vlog and with this book than I did with my previous book. So for this book Annotations felt a lot more academic to me. This is not a romance, it is a fantasy, and there really isn't any romance in this book really at all. Maybe between the lines a tiny little bit, but not really. So there wasn't really any romance to tab, which is generally my favorite thing to tab, so that made things a little bit more difficult for me. I was doing a lot more like analysis of character motivation and character growth and character development and character relationships, like friendships. I definitely felt like I had a lot more to say towards the beginning of the book, and I think part of that is the beginning of the book was when I still had a lot of time and was trying. Um, and then by the end, I was really trying to get it done. And that has nothing to do with the book or with annotating, that has everything to do with life in general. So all in all, I did enjoy it, still love this book. There were still so many things that I forgot about, like so many plot twists that I just didn't even remember from the first time that I read it a few years ago. I cannot wait to start the second one. I am actually intending to start the second one today because I am that excited. But as far as the way that I changed up my annotating style, I only used a black pen and the tabs for this book. And I kind of have mixed feelings about that. On one hand, it was really nice because it was very 
simple. I only had to carry one black pen with me. I only had to focus on one thing. I didn't have to focus on like colors. I didn't have to worry about messing up colors. Um, I felt like I was able to focus more on the writing and like the annotations themselves and like putting my thoughts on paper than about like making sure it was perfectly color coded. And I kind of enjoyed that. I also, again, this book doesn't really have romance, but it does have two main characters that like, maybe in future books, maybe we'll see. Um, so what I did for that was I just put their names for a tab, like both of them instead of like a romance tab. And I like that. And I kind of wish that I had done that for my previous annotating book because I felt like I was able to tab so many more things with that instead of only being able to tab romantic or like smut interactions between those characters I was able to tab like any moment between those two characters that I enjoyed so I felt like that was a really good way to do it and I'll probably continue to do that instead of having a romance tab I'm probably just going to have a tab for the main couple. All in all I think this was very successful. I wish like some of my pages I feel like look great. Let me find a good example. Like there was a couple of pages where I was just writing so much. Here for instance, like I was writing a lot on the sides. I was highlighting or underlining and circling and doing like a lot of things. Whereas once we got towards the end, like some of my annotations, I mean, we did still have a little bit of it. Like this is kind of towards the end. So we definitely still had like some good annotations in the back, but a lot of them towards the end were just basically this um so you can see I kind of started to lose focus <laughs> by the end but also just so much was happening that I was just like I don't want to stop and put notes on paper I just want to keep going all right I'm probably not going to do like a full-on flip through I'll just like show y'all I mean I've kind of showed y'all a few pages as we've been going but I'll just like show y'all a few pages just I mean if you really want to flip through like that's that's about as good as it's getting only because my office is a disaster right now and I don't have any time energy or patience to clear a spot on the floor um, because I've been sharing this room with my husband because he's been using the computer so this is by far my favorite page and I don't even know why other than I just really like that I was able to actually write a lot on it I think one of my favorite annotations is here I wrote nothing like trauma to create a close-knit friendship truth honestly a lot of it is just me like freaking out honestly especially towards the end that was kind of what my annotations just turned into but I did have st some like actual analysis I had a lot of character analysis especially in the chapters um that were more about Darlington I had a lot of like analysis about like his character and his background and you know how he became who he became and all of that so yeah that was my second annotating experience ever I did enjoy it it does make reading a lot longer I don't think this should have taken me a month and a half even with the annotating like there was no reason it should have taken me that long other than I just did not have the time to pick this book up nearly as much as I wanted to um we will be fixing that if you're interested in another annotation vlog from me let me know down in the comments if you have questions about how i'm annotating or what i'm learning from annotating leave me a comment down below i would be happy to answer any questions i'm really excited to do another one of these videos and i will see y'all soon i hope oh i hope i do have more videos planned i do have other things coming hopefully very soon and i will see y'all in the next video bye mm -hmm.